In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to add Buy Now buttons to your website. So again, if you're only selling one or two, or at least items that are only bought one at a time, it's very easy for you to add e-commerce to it. And I'm going to do that using PayPal. So this is our evaluation services page. So for example, we go and evaluate people's dinnerware sets. And that's a one-time item that you're going to buy, a service that you're going to buy. So let's go in here. And I'm going to go to Evaluation Services. And let me just go and grab my code for a moment here. OK, so you can see here I'm in visual mode right now. I'm going to switch to HTML mode because the code I've got is in HTML. And I just go to a new line here. And I'm going to paste it in. OK, that's taken from PayPal. We're going to go into details of how that's done. Let me hit Update here. OK, and if I go back over to here now, I have my Buy Now button. There you go. So if I click through to that, it's going to take me right to PayPal, and it's going to show me an in-home evaluation, $60. There we go. And I can pay with PayPal or credit card at that point. OK, so that's how straightforward it is to add a Buy Now button to your WordPress blog. Now, let's go and take a look at the steps involved in that. And I've got some things to show you that you want to be aware of as well. So in PayPal, what I did was I created a Buy Now button. And under Merchant Services, there's an area where you can set up buttons. I won't take you through the entire process of this because it will vary by whichever gateway you're using. Now, in this case, it's PayPal, but they'll all have something similar. You have button builders. And I go in and I fill in my information. In this case, there's no shipping or anything else involved, so it's very, very straightforward. Once I've saved all of that, it takes me to this screen here where it gives me my code. And that was the code that I was pasting in. Let's take a look at it in more detail in our text editor here. There we go. That's the code right there that PayPal gives you. Now, in this particular case, what I've chosen to do is what's called a hosted button. You can see that, hosted button. OK, the reason for that is for security. So this code right here is what goes to PayPal and pulls out all that information, including my email address, right? So I don't have to have any of that visible in my HTML. No pricing, my email address for PayPal, none of that's visible. It's all encoded and put on the site at PayPal. So it's very secure. So I like doing it that way. There are other ways to do it where you can actually control all the information right from this, but it's not as secure from that standpoint. So what we did was we just copied this and we went back over to here and we pasted it in here. Now notice I pasted it in in, in HTML mode. It's very important that you do that, okay, because if you pasted it in in visual mode, it's going to cause problems. Now, some people will tell you that putting any kind of HTML like this is going to cause problems when you switch back to visual mode. But in this particular case, there's nothing in this here. There's nothing in there that's problematic that's going to get wiped out by the WordPress text editor. What happens with the WordPress text editor is, for safety's sake, it strips out certain kinds of HTML, in particular JavaScript. But there are other things it will strip out too. In this case, everything here is perfectly valid and it won't get stripped out. And I'll show you. If I switch back to visual mode, okay, it even shows me the Buy Now button in there. Let me hit Update. So I'm updating it while I'm in visual mode. Button's still there. Button's still here. Nothing's going to get wrecked with this Buy Now button. Now you're asking yourself, why is there this big space in there? Now, that is because of the WordPress text editor, and I'll show you why. If we go into the HTML here, you'll see, hmm, there's nothing that would indicate there's extra spacing. But if you go over here, and if we inspect this element, you'll notice something. Let me expand the form here. OK, so there's our form. Now, there are some hidden fields in this form. Look at these BR tags. BR is a line break. That means a line break has been added between these two hidden ones, including this one as well. This visible input button also has a line break between them. 
Now that's the effect of the WordPress text editor, and this is where you will have to make one little adjustment. If I go like this and I remove the spacing in here, right, these are on new lines. If I eliminate the new lines, watch what happens when I update here. We're going to lose all that spacing because now there aren't all those line breaks being put in automatically by WordPress. So that's really the only thing you have to worry about when you're using buy now buttons or any kind of PayPal button like this is just remove any of the line breaks in it and you'll be fine. Also, you're going to notice if I mouse over here, you can see might be hard to see on this particular screen, but you'll notice a little extra item on the end here. And it shows up in some browsers. It shows up like if I actually touch it, you might be able to see it. No, it's not going to do it. Anyway, it's this little item right here. This image, there's a little image at the end of this form. And that's for tracking purposes in PayPal. But you might notice it sometimes or it'll create an extra space and you're not sure what that space is. It's just this little image here. Do not take out that image because it's important for PayPal. That's what you need to do in order to put in HTML forms that create buttons for you. Buy now buttons could be a donate button, whatever it might be. You just insert it right like that into your text editor. It's even easier on a sidebar. If we go into appearance and widgets here, you don't even need to worry about the text editor anymore because you could take this. I'm just going to put it over here on the main sidebar. I just drop in my form. Hit save, and now I have to go to a page that has a sidebar here. Go to the blog. Notice I have my Buy Now button on the side. Let's say you were an author and you had one book for sale. You could put it in your sidebar. You can put a cover of your book and have a Buy Now button right in the sidebar by using a text widget and dropping in your HTML.